Hello everyone, welcome back, glad to have you here. Today we're in our living room instead of in the shop and uh, this is a bit of an update video as we have been away from posting videos for several weeks now, I think uh, three to four weeks. And so we just kind of want to let everybody know what we've been up to, what's been going on, and uh, kind of a little a little glimpse into the future, what we have planned as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as you all, for those of you that don't know, um, we recently had a death in our family, which was Jessica's sister. Mm -hmm. um, she died at the age of 27, and uh, that kind of un unraveled us for quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's been kind of hard to get the monkey off the back, so to speak, and uh, get back into regular forms of life. Uh, hell, I haven't done any smithing. Uh, I, I went to Quad State this mm -hmm. year um, and got to meet a lot of you out there at Quad State, and that really blessed us to be able to do that, and that, that kind of just helped us, um, you, you know, get over some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, have a bit, of, and... a bit of refocus just mm -hmm. for a little bit and um, kind of get away from the house, and that helped. Too. Yeah, 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 and that, that helped out a lot. Um, yeah, and I haven't smith before then, I hadn't smithed in like three weeks prior to that, um, mm -hmm. you know, s since we had got that news. So, um, so, uh, so a little bit of it, you know, again, that's a bit of a sad thing. Um, well, it's a lot of sad thing from us. Uh, we are slowly getting better. Um, the Lord's still been good to us. Uh, he has surrounded us with a lot of care and support and loving people um, mm -hmm. like our blacksmith family here on YouTube um, and all across the globe. And, you know, we really do appreciate each and every last one of you. Um, one of the one of the things in this video we kind of want to just, you know, do a little bit is just spend some time thinking uh, some folks. Uh, one in particular, you guys might notice um, this wonderfully created um, and very beautiful urn mm -hmm. uh, that a subscriber of ours um, and a great friend of the channel ended up making uh, making for us. I, I'm not sure if he wanted his name mentioned, so I'll just mention his first name. Uh, Wallace, you know who you are. Thank you so much, sir, um, for this. Uh, it's just an absolute epic gift. Yeah, it's um, beautiful. You did a really nice job on yeah. it, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's an absolute gorgeous job. Uh, it's got a great little split cross here uh, on the front. The whole thing's been heat patinaed blue uh, and a great rose uh, on top. Again, just, I mean, absolute top-notch work, sir. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we, we really, we, we can't state that enough. Just thank you. Thank, yeah. thank you very, very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you for all the time. I'm sure it took many an hours to make it, and we really appreciate it. Yep, yep, we really do. And this thing is heavy as all get out. <laughs> I'm glad it made it here safely <laughs> yeah. through the postal system. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always a scary thing when, you know, you ship something to the United States postal system, uh, unfortunately, or, well, any post system, you know, considering they don't make boxes out of steel. Um, but uh, our blacksmithing items are awful, uh, oftentimes in steel. But, again, great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you so much. Um, we've also received a lot of um, uh, support with cards. Yeah. Jessica has a yeah, few. I've gotten you know, uh, so. some cards in the mail. Um, also, tons of comments mm -hmm. as well. Um, uh, when we went to Quad State, you know, I I got a lot of condolences from a lot of um, those that we met there as well, and uh, so many prayers and thoughts towards towards the family. We really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've definitely needed it during this time, and uh, we're very grateful yep. for having such a supportive community. Yep, yep. And uh, we also we also had did a sale. It was like a three day sale, and uh, did just to, you know just to be be honest, you know, um, her sister didn't have any. Uh, I mean, at twenty seven, nobody mm -hmm. does have like you know plans in place, into or life plans or, or funeral costs or anything life in place. Insurance or stuff like um, that. So so that kind of reverted back that kind of reverted back to us um, on her family, her mom and dad and us and stuff, um, all of which were not prepared for those those costs. Um, and so uh, through uh, so a lot of uh, generous donating and people buying things from us, plans and additional plans and stuff, uh, during uh, during like, that time. Uh, plans, necklaces, plans, key necklace, chains, key stickers, chains. like all kinds of stuff, yeah. Yep, yep, uh, you know, you guys, uh, again, you showed what the blacksmith family is all about, uh, and you know between that and there were several churches that got together that you know uh, our, my sister-in-law, her sister Catherine, 
uh, was a part of got together and, and uh, took up and, some special, and, offerings, took up some special offerings and you know and uh, were was able to almost completely foot the entire bill for the for the entire cost of the funeral uh, which is just I can't tell you it's an absolute godsend um, you know again when this kind of fell down the pike you know the first thing was like I don't believe it and then the mm -hmm. second thing was like how am I going to afford this Right. And, uh, like we had literally just, seen her like 10 days earlier mm -hmm. and so it was just it really was it was a shock that 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 was even possible but she she had diabetes since she was little and um you know the cause of her death was due to diabetes complications so yeah but yeah. yes very so, unexpected yeah and, and and from what we found out um now through grapevine and and some of the some of the different stuff that come back is, you know, her number just climbed way too high on her, mm -hmm. and she went into uh, the... I think it ketosis, I think. Ketosis? It was a, yeah, I think yeah, that's what Yeah, she, she went into ketosis, and uh, unfortunately there wasn't anybody around. Her roommates weren't around uh, during that portion of the day um, when, when that happened. So uh, a real, real cluster of uh, a series of really unfortunate mm -hmm. uh, uncircumstances, and, um, you know, but, uh, that's, that's the way the world works sometimes, right? You know, we don't, we don't get to pick when we leave this rock, you know? Um, so, yeah. So after we found out of her passing, there was a couple of days where I was just on the phone solidly making plans and trying to help with the funeral arrangements. Mm -hmm. And then we left out, uh, immediately that weekend for Indiana, which is where my sister lived. Um, and then we were gone for about a week from Ohio, from here in Michigan. Um, and so for those of you who may have um, emailed us about something or, you know, we're mm -hmm. still trying to get caught up on the business end, uh, yep. get back with customers and people who purchase plans and stuff like that. Like we're way behind right now. So we're trying to get caught up. Yep. But we were gone for a week or a little over. And then we got back. Uh, we had three days to prepare and we decided to go ahead and go to Quad State. Um, mm -hmm. so, I mean, that was, that was a rush too, just trying to get, get a few things done just before leaving out for quad state. So, um, those who seen us at quad state, if we didn't seem real put together, I mean, that's kind of why, yeah. um, I did manage to put up like a, just like a one table display at quad state this year, um, is something we had talked about after last quad state, we wanted to kind of work at growing, um, get, kind of having a a place for people to come and hang out with us at quad state and so i mean we started towards that we still have a yep. ways to go um maybe next year we'll have that more improved um yeah 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 and 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 again you know uh sorry once again if we didn't seem like we were all put together and and you know ourselves because i mean it was just just one of those things it's kind of like uh our whole thing has been rush 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 kind of like one thing right after the other and if you, if you all know like bill collectors and things like that they you know <laughs> they don't uh, mm -hmm. they don't have a heart <laughs> it's one of those sort of things um so so it's been an absolute manic rush uh from moment one and our whole thing has just been flipped upside down so um but we are slowly getting it back on the right track god's been good he's you know we're we're, we're we're slowly mending and getting everything back on uh, track. But I also want to say one other thing about that. You know, a lot of people were coming in and, you know, like you don't, you, maybe you don't think this way when you go out to just purchase some power hammer plans or some sticker packs or, or things like that online that you don't maybe, you know, you, yeah, you don't think about this consciously, mm -hmm. but in the subconscious, um, it really did help during that time that, you know, I haven't worked in the shop in three weeks so mm -hmm. i haven't been in the shop at all um getting any orders out or anything like that uh which that means there's other halves of pay that i haven't got done mm -hmm. all my deadlines that i mean i've extended everything towards the end of the year in order for me to get you know get caught up and we've got like one more event well we got several events mm -hmm. this year like classes i'm teaching and things i have to demonstrate at that are all like sprinkled dispersed and uh, so we won't really get a solid chance to sit down until you know and get like solid month worth of work me staying in the shop until nearly december um mm -hmm. and just your guys's overwhelming support mm -hmm. that came in during that time uh it just really helped us it, it, it really um, did and we are grateful we, we are super grateful mm -hmm. and and we thank you uh, for that 
as yeah, well. Yeah, so. and we didn't get to yeah. mention earlier, um, but thank you also for the PayPal donators who just donated directly to PayPal. Um, you know, that went directly towards the funeral expenses. So yep. you're greatly appreciated also. Yep, yep, you're very greatly appreciated. And, and again, just thank you. Thank you to every one of, uh, you know, our blacksmith uh, family out there here on YouTube. We, we really do appreciate it. Um, so, uh, so that's kind of what we've been up to. Uh, I do have um, some videos and I kind of hope that this video will be a bit of a segue video. I, I was filming some videos. I had a pile of videos um, uh, kind of uh, taped. Uh, they, they weren't well taped, uh, filmed, you know, digitally filmed um, before, um, uh, you know, the passing of Jessica's sister. And it just, I don't know, it felt... I guess it just felt wrong to have those come out, um, you know, during, you know, just during that time. It just, it didn't, it didn't feel right to take them, you know, uh, put those, put those videos out. Uh, but I do plan on starting to release those uh, because I kind of had a little bit of stockpile of them. Um, so hopefully next week or uh, whenever the, you guys see this video, they'll be coming out a few days short, you know, a couple days after that. Um, and, you know, we'll get back to having a regular uh, string of videos that way. And they'll be coming out. I've got some real good ones coming out. And, I mean, I was pretty proud of them. They're, they're going to be really great videos, I think, mm -hmm. um, that everyone will enjoy. But, again, it just didn't feel right during that time. So, so that's what you have to look forward to. There are videos coming up, but I'm hoping this video will be a nice transition or segue video so you guys mm -hmm. kind of know where we're at Um you know, and why we've just, been missing if you hadn't yep, heard anything yep, yet. Yep, why we've been missing. Some of you, by the way, sorry, uh, some of this might be a shock to you. Um, uh, again, we post, we, we did a post on Instagram, um, and then we did, um, uh, we did a community post. We have had two community posts on YouTube, which YouTube sometimes they're really lame about, you know, mm, well, promoting, basically promoting. all the time they're lame about promoting out that mm. thing to all of our subscribership. Uh, but, uh, it, 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 yeah, we, we haven't been active mm. that much at all on social media or anything. We've just been so tied up in our own lives and, uh, you know, yep. tough. It, it's a tough thing to get around. But mm. anyways, so we are getting around it. Um, I, I think we should just transition, Jess, what sure. you think of yeah. just talking about some of our dates. I'm going to pass it to Jessica on this because she's going to be way better mm -hmm. <laughs> at, uh, giving out all the dates she's got okay. paper she takes notes guys they do. she takes notes that helps me stay organized um yeah. I'll, I'll give you guys the live stream dates first because uh, this these events are kind of going to be the order they're going to happen uh, so we had missed a live stream in september but um, we plan on doing a live stream october 11th and also october 18th so those will be here on the youtube channel uh, we'll be live then and please feel free to join us then and uh, catch up with us and and we can hear what you guys have been up to as well during this time period. Um, and then our next uh, official event where we will be attending somewhere is going to be October 26th, 2019. And that is the Good of the Land Fest. And that's going to be held in Temple, Texas. Let me say something on that. Um, so, yeah, uh, Justin over at Good of the Land Fest, great guy. He's invited me to come out to the fest. There's going to be a lot of big names there. Um, th that are in the YouTube, uh, you know, space, if you will. Um, I believe Liam Hoffman's going to be there. Uh, Jimmy Darista. Um, there's a talk that the essential craftsman may be there. Um, you know, so it's going to be kind of neat to kind of meet some of those, you know, much larger channels than myself, you know, YouTube celebrities, if you will. Um, you know, that's, that's going to be kind of neat to be there. But my main practical function that I'm going to be going there is I will be there teaching um, and trying to, you know, anybody who wants to come up and smith, uh, just kind of giving hands-on instruction. I will probably demonstrate a little bit just because that's my natural tendency to uh, just kind of step up and start swinging a hammer if I can and, and demonstrate something. So I'm still kind of working on what I will be teaching exact. Uh, be on the lookout for an actual video on that. I plan on having a little video uh, like a little tutorial kind of video or just an overview video of something that I'm going to be teaching uh, a simple project, beginner project, mm -hmm. at the fest. Uh, so it's going to be a great thing. I know it's short and it's coming around. Uh, you can check the link to get your tickets 
to the fest the link for that will be in the description down below so yes. so you can go check that out um decide if that's worth the drive for you if you're in texas mm -hmm. um you know i texas is a big place it is yeah it's a big place we were looking at just a few things she has some family that lives out in texas in and west texas west texas yeah. and all over and it's, it's like, like eight hours away. yeah they're like eight even nine hour drives even yeah. though they're in texas that's in the state of texas so um again if you're anywhere around the temple texas area on october 26th um great great way of coming in and checking out again you can find more at you know uh the good of land fest and you website. can, mm -hmm. yeah, the website, you can check the link in the description. You'll be able to find that. Mm -hmm. um, so def definitely go check that out. I'm looking forward to meeting up with a lot of people that are out there out West, um, you know, that can't come out East to like say quad state. Um, so that, that'll be a, be a great event. And I think the tickets are pretty reasonable too. $30. I think they're, yeah. They're like 30 bucks, mm -hmm. you know, for like a one day event. And I think there's a second, there's a second day, but that's, mm -hmm. I think those have been sold out. I don't know. Yeah, the but, VIP pass. Yeah, they're like a VIP ticket where you can just hang out on the second day and have mm -hmm. a big barbecue. But, but anyways, uh, enough of that. Enough of me rambling <laughs> on. Right. I look forward to seeing all of my brethren and sisters of the Forge out there in, uh, in Texas when we get to go out that way. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. um, the next event that we have going on is going to be a, a forging class. And that's going to be November 23rd and 24th, 2019, which is the weekend before Thanksgiving. Um, it's going to be a Copper Bowl forging class, and that's going to be at Blue Hell Studios in Cincinnati, Ohio. So Roy's going to be a guest instructor. Normally mm -hmm. they have um, their main instructors that do, do the classes down there. Um, as of the recording yep. of this video, they did not yet have the, um, the info yet on their website yet but I'll go ahead and include a link down below. And uh, as soon as we have a direct link, that'll be down there too. Yep, yep. And uh, yeah, and that's Christopher Daniels over there uh, that they have several different things. He's kind of like a bit, the Cincinnati Blacksmith Guild meets right there uh, at Blue Hell Studios at that, uh, at that location. So if you're in anywhere near the Cincinnati, Ohio area, uh, that'd be a great way, great class to get in on. Um, I'll be teaching, you know, the copper bowls, you know, my way of forging copper bowls, hopefully be able to go over finishes um, of those bowls in that class. Um, and also uh, how to do dishing stumps, like make out the dishing stumps and stuff like that. It's, it's bound to be a good class. Uh, I, I think it will be. The last class I taught was about four years ago, I think it, it was. Been, yeah. yeah, yeah, about four years ago um, at Southern Ohio Forge and Ample, uh, or SOFA that people know. I, I taught a class there and it filled up pretty quick and it was a, mm -hmm. it was, it was a really, good, really good class. We all had a ton of fun. I think everybody made like three or four bowls each or something like that so it's a great way of doing that and a good way to get started on your christmas uh, mm -hmm. gifts early yep. yeah that's tough for a blacksmith mm -hmm. to get started on christmas gifts early, get started early. <laughs> yeah speaking of which yes segues into the next one it does um so then we have a class the following weekend and the dates on that one's gonna be november 30th through december 1st uh, 2019 and that's going to be forged christmas gifts mm -hmm. that one's going to take Place at the Cook Cabin Heritage Center in Goshen, Ohio, which is also in the Cincinnati area. Yep, yep. And you can talk, and you can contact Jamie Gear, and he is. Uh, oh, we'll have a link. Mm -hmm. We'll have a link to all this stuff down in the description down below. You'll just hear me say that again because I'll mm -hmm. probably forget between now and then. But, but the links for all that will be down there, mm -hmm. um, uh, down below. Awesome place. I've taught there several times now. I taught a forge welding intensive there, uh, and I forget which the other one was. Uh, yeah, tong was making? It. Or, yeah, it's a tong slash um, hammer, uh, forge control, wasn't it? No, no, it was just a blacksmith, coal oh. forge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Fire control class, yeah. and then a forge welding class. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, uh, but great hospitality, um, and I can say officially it has been the best place I've had the opportunity to teach so far, thus far. Great down home feel. Um, again, just can't can't say enough. Uh, Jamie makes you feel extremely welcome. Lunch and, is provided. You know, lunch is provided uh, during the days, and then we hope to take in. I hope to take and show uh, a bunch of the different items that are in like our Christmas ebook, our ten hand forged mm -hmm. items, 
uh, for Christmas. We've got an yeah. ebook online over at blacksmithpdfs.com. Um, if, if you want to kind of get a little bit of a precursor look of whatever that is. Uh, and I've done a bunch of videos, tutorials on it, but that's kind of the theme of the class. So we're going to be focusing in on that and making up a bunch of Christmas gifts yeah, like uh, for Christmas. Like stocking so. hooks, um, mm -hmm. ornaments. Yep napkin holders. Yeah, so it's very entry level class or as advanced as you bring your skill level to. So I'm going to teach you the entry level techniques of all these things and then go hog wild. You know, you, you make the Christmas gifts how you want to make them for your, you know, your family. So it's going to be a great, great time. So all of those classes and events are for 2019. We do have something happening in 2020 as well and it is a blacksmithing conference. The dates for that will be April 30th through May 3rd, and that is the Ozark Conference, and it's going to be for the Blacksmith Association of Missouri. Yeah, so uh, BAM, as a lot of people know it as, uh, has invited me to be the conference demonstrator this year. Uh, what I am hoping to take and do as my conference demonstration piece will be a Baroque uh, style, a French Baroque style sign bracket. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the main goal, that's the main item. Uh, so I have a lot of work to get prepped for that as well. I want to show um, I want to show kind of an overview of the pieces and have the different forgings available and then just kind of have one assembled uh, by the end of the uh, by, by the end of the conference. So uh, you'll definitely want to be a part of that if you're anywhere near the center of the United States mm -hmm. uh, in Missouri. Um, it's going to be a great time as well. I, I really I really put a lot of effort into my demonstrations and my classes uh, because I try to not waste your all's time uh, for coming out. A lot of you got to travel a long way, you've got to get hotels, you know, you have things like that, logistics that you have to work out. Uh, and so I do my best to, you know, bring my A game, my absolute A game. Uh, to those things. Because of that, a lot of times I don't film myself during things like this because I find that it takes my attention and my focus away from students and or people. So Jessica is going to be there with me yep. uh, during this time. So hopefully she will get some footage mm -hmm. of me and you know the elusive Roy <laughs> actually doing one it's of these Roy events. Sighting. It's a Roy <laughs> sighting, you know. Um, because again, yeah, I you know I can't split my attention between trying to get camera angles uh, and then really focus on you know either students uh, that have paid good money to take classes with me and or events like this where they have you know had me brought in exclusively to try to take and teach a process uh, or demonstrate something like that. So I put 110% focus on those events. Um, so, you know, there might be some videos upcoming and we'll see how that goes. Uh, of those processes being worked on, they might not be complete how-to videos um, in the future, but that'll be in 2020, May, yeah, April 30th to May 3rd. So uh, that's right around the corner. I hate, <laughs> I, I like to pretend like it's way out there in the distance, uh, but it'll yeah. It'll be here before you know it. Yeah, it'll be here before you know it. So yeah. And we do have some other classes in the works as well for 2020. Um, mm -hmm. Still finalizing the details on those, but mm -hmm. uh, all of these events, like we said, will be down in the description below. And we mm -hmm. also keep a updated uh, calendar of events at our website, blacksmithpdfs.com, where we have all of this information as well. And yeah. we keep it current and updated, so if you see this video in the future and you're like, oh, those events passed, well, there will be new ones posted. Yep, so. yep, there will definitely be new events. So definitely follow us over there. Um, also, another quick thing, a lot of people haven't really kind of taken advantage of this um, uh, situation. W we do put a lot of uh, well, effort or posts on Instagram. Now, when I say a lot, like, we're not... We're not the type to take and post like every time we think we've done something smug or smart, right? Like we did, well, we're not those type people. Uh, but I do do a lot of behind the scenes posts on Instagram. So if you would want to take and get, you know, a little better connected with us, you can follow us over on Instagram. That's another great way of uh, just kind of catching up on the behind the scenes stuff. Yep, at Christ Center and Ironworks. Yep. Yep, and again, we'll just put the Instagram link down there if you want to take and follow us over on Instagram. Um, and then one other good way 
is over at our website, blacksmithpdfs.com. We do have a newsletter that we put out quarterly, and it's just kind of like a bulk roundup. You know, it's, it's you know, it's we're open books, so if you want to know something about us, you know, we are usually pretty, you know, interested in sharing that information. Uh, you know, and it's just a matter of you having to hook up with us in these, you know certain avenues that we've set up there um, get questions answers the best the best way to do that although we are horrible at, at getting back it seems like we are never done at the bottom of the email list no, huh? no there's um, always more you, you know there you can always contact us through our gmail that's the best way to have you know a question answered uh you, you know that's if you have a burning desire if you don't mind waiting or a little bit to have a question done, of the so. day too yep yeah and that's a, another series comment down below uh if you will if you've been enjoying the blacksmith question of the day series uh it's something that i enjoy doing because i feel like i can answer things kind of like in a live stream format but without it being a live stream video yeah. again i don't know if that's valuable to you or not it seems like a lot of people are are enjoying those just you know if you've made it to this point in the video i know it's a long one mm -hmm. uh you know just comment down below what you actually think of the question of the day series if you wouldn't mind just give us your thoughts and some feedback there uh, i like doing it it allows me to answer three questions uh you know that the community has and uh, you know at a time and it's a great a great way in between content you know forging content uh to be able to still interact with you all which we enjoy greatly doing so mm -hmm. but yeah i think that's it hon. what do yeah. you think yeah i think we've covered um covered everything we you know where we've been what we will be doing i think mm -hmm. we've, we've touched on on the topics we were intending to yeah yeah so um yeah again uh just Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for, you know, just the overwhelming love um, and, uh, you know, condolences and things like that. We really do appreciate that. We really, really do. We really can't thank uh, Wallace enough. Thank you so much um, for that. It's, a, it's an absolute. Yeah, it's just a flabbergasting, you know, gift. You know, we, we got to see it uh, posted online. We got to see a pre-picture of this before we got it. Uh, so kind of ruined the surprise a little bit there, but uh, but like when I just saw it, my jaw dropped. It was just like, you know, mm -hmm. I was speechless, and you know that's hard for Roy to be speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just shaking their head right yeah. now online. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Anyways, so uh, again, thank you all so much, um, and uh, we just hope that every last one of you have an absolute blessed day and the rest of your week. And until we catch up with you in the next video. Again, we'll just catch you on the next one. Thank you so much.